Hey GearHeads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and I'm coming to you from the studio today because Ram has just announced their first ever electric vehicle in the Ram Revolution battery electric vehicle concept and they have shown it off out at CES, the Consumer Electronics Show out in Las Vegas and in this video we have the details for you. Stay tuned. All right, so what this is, is Ram's first fully electric vehicle, and they have really taken their time with this vehicle, including reaching out to you, the fans, and starting this online forum called the Ram Revolution. And they said, much like Apple, they didn't want to necessarily be the first to the market and rush something together. They wanted to take their time and make sure it was something that appealed to you, the end consumer, when it came to an electric pickup truck. So this is a little bit different than what we have seen from Ford with their F-150 Lightning, which let's face it, we had it here for a week, is as normal a pickup truck as you can get because they took the gas powered version, ripped out all the gas stuff, stuffed in electronic internals, and made it work. And I know that's an oversimplification of it. Whereas Chevy, and GMC have decided to go completely opposite of that and they have created a ground up structure in both the uh, Silverado EV, the GMC Hummer EV, which you can actually buy right now, and the just announced GMC Sierra Denali EV. So those are ground up architectures that really share nothing with their gas powered versions, unlike what Ford did. And Ram is taking a play out of General Motors playbook and doing the exact same thing with this Ram revolution. But that's enough uh, just hearing from me. Why don't we take a look at some of the images that Ram released involving this truck and talk through some of the details. Spoiler alert, there aren't too many on the electric side, but as far as the style and tech inside, there's a lot to like. So let's see. All right, so first thing, let's talk about the design of this pickup truck. So it is very much Ram. It is very big and brawny and very much an EV. So it is very sleek. It is very aerodynamic as much so as a big truck can. Ram actually uses the word brutiful, which is a combination of brutish and beautiful. And I'm sorry, pickup trucks just aren't beautiful. It's a Swiss army knife. It reminds me of the naked episode of Seinfeld when they're talking about the male form and it not just being one that you want to see. It's like a Jeep. It's utilitarian. It, it, it does the job. You don't buy pickup trucks for them to be beautiful. That being said, you don't really want them to be ugly. And this thing isn't exactly ugly. It definitely looks better than, say, the Tesla Cybertruck, which I feel we will bring up quite a bit in this one just because of the similarities, because this is the last of the big three automakers to make an electric truck. So I already mentioned Chevy and GMC and Ford getting in on the game. Uh, this brings the third of the big three uh, American automakers into it, leaving just Toyota out in the cold and Nissan's Titan is really just kind of lingering out there, withering on the vine as it is. So we really don't know what Toyota and Nissan are going to do in the electric space in the full-size pickup truck market. Uh, but here is the last of the big three players. I have a feeling we'll see these on the road before we see the Tesla Cybertruck, but that's just me. But I mentioned in the intro how much Ram has taken consumers' opinions and thoughts into the design of this truck. Though a lot of what we're seeing here from the headlight design, that tuning fork design, the Ram logo, and some of the other elements, the silhouette of the truck, have really been around since they launched that Consumer Insight portal. So I really wonder how much consumer input really made it into the final product here and how much of that was marketing spin. I really don't know. I'll, I'll have to spend some more time with it. I really hope to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Ram Truck CEO Mike Koval. Uh, we've talked to him here on the channel before on the Ram 2500 Rebel. So really hoping to pick his brain a little bit more about this pickup truck. But you can see whole new Ram logo and 
electrified, modernized Ram look. Very bold there in the middle of the grille. Uh, it's backlit, it's LED lit, surrounded by these tuning fork style running lights that I, I'm sure will be the new signature of the Ram trucks brand. Multi-element uh, headlights there, and we get some marker lamps. I don't know if that's any indication as to how wide this is, but a really nice, tough, rugged look up front. LED fog lights actual skid plate up front so showing that again that brutish style of it and movable tow hooks so Toyota are you listening you know you wanted to get rid of tow hooks altogether and you did and you've been facing backlash on the Tundra since Ram has these movable tow hooks uh, so they're still giving them to you but cleaning up the look at the front just a little bit moving around to the side we get a 35 inch tall tires but wait they're wrapped around 24 inch wheels. So yeah, you're not really gonna be doing off-roading in this. This is not an off-road rig. This is an on-road luxury vehicle, in my opinion. As much as Ram likes to say it is for work, it's more on the luxury side than the work side. Uh, 24 inch wheels, uh, 35 inch tall tires, very aerodynamic wheel design, uh, a lot of black in there to fill in the holes so that it's aerodynamic. And then the most comical looking rear view mirrors because they are rear view cameras and they just look so tiny and out of place on this. In a vehicle that is supposed to be brutish, uh, it looks like this truck skipped leg day. It, it's comical how small they are and I don't understand why everybody's trying to reinvent some of the most basic elements of the vehicle. I get it, the rear view camera mirror inside makes a lot of sense. It eliminates headrests and heads and luggage and whatever you might have in the bed behind you. But just give me a regular mirror on the side. I, I'm a tech guy and I'm over rear view camera mirrors on the outside of the vehicle, at least as of right now. Maybe in some high-end luxury vehicles, maybe in some sports cars that really need aerodynamics. I get it. This is pickup truck that's electric. You're trying to save as much aerodynamic drag as possible. It just looks completely out of place. And then the most, I don't want to say controversial, but interesting element of this, suicide doors. The rear doors on this crew cab pickup truck are rear hinged and they open up and there's no B pillar, wide open spaces, uh, Dixie Chicks, to get in to the cabin of this and Extended cab vehicles have gotten rid of rear hinge doors lately, and I think for a reason people hated kind of doing that awkward dance, being parked too close to somebody at Lowe's or Home Depot, and I don't know, uh, much bigger door, much bigger, wider opening, it's really going to box you in. I wonder if that's going to make it to production, how much of that was truly consumer feedback versus, hey, this is something cool we want to do, because when you open it up, the interior is quite awesome. And we'll get to that in a little bit. The styling does kind of call to mind uh, Cybertruck, not in how many curves this thing has because it's curvaceous versus a Cybertruck's very angular design. But uh, the silver color, the futuristic look of it definitely looks more futuristic than uh, the Chevy uh, Silverado EV, for instance, probably on par with the GMC in my opinion. And then you get this really cool uh, split barn door tailgate that we'll get more into here in a little bit. Ram's already been doing a split barn door style tailgate on their ice power trucks. This one is split 50-50 down the middle because of that new Ram logo and adds to some increased functionality and yes, into the, the tailgate wars that are just rampaging on. Silhouette of this thing is very sleek. Uh, and does a good job of uh, making a cool looking truck. It is more beautiful than perhaps their gas powered version, but it is very futuristic looking uh, at the same time. And then you get a powered charge door again. I see that as maybe something more gimmicky, something that could break. Pickup truck buyers probably just want a door you can touch and open. I, I don't know on that one, but uh, the lighting elements on the outside of this are really cool. It, it definitely is a striking design from the outside. I will have more pictures of 
the outside of this truck and the inside on our website. So head on over to gtgaragetalk.com if you want to see more pictures and scroll through them at your leisure. But yeah, very unique vehicle here. And then let's start talking about the inside, starting under the hood. It is an electric vehicle, and yes, it has a front trunk or a frunk. And Ram has taken a play out of Bollinger's playbook and made a pass-through that goes all the way from nose to tail. I love this idea. So there is actually a pass-through into the cab, and then... Uh, Chevy Silverado EV style mid gate in the middle that can fold down so you can have 18 foot length anything run from the nose to the tail of this pickup truck and I think that is an absolute win. Uh, that is something that I could see being very beneficial and a little less gimmicky than uh, some other things. You know, if you're hauling large lumber, you don't want it hanging out the back. I, I like this as a functional element. And I think it will be very beneficial to owners. Uh, there are a couple cup holders, it looks like, underneath that hood and some bag hooks. And then, again, talking about the tailgate, that split tailgate uh, and the mid gate and everything in the bed. There's what Ram calls the Ram track system. The seats are on it. The center console's on it. Uh, and that goes all the way through the cabin. Uh, it's in the front and in the bed. So you get these rails that run practically the entire length of the vehicle. They are kind of broken up along the way, but allow for a lot of functionality when it comes to storing stuff in the back and taking care of luggage and cargo. And then a very interesting first in the full-size truck game, third row jump seats. So the seats themselves, there are four captain's chairs in here. Again, they run on that rail system. They are completely contained. The seat belt is contained in them. Everything is contained in them so they can scoot forward and back, be removed, whatever. But behind the second row of captain's chairs, there are jump seats and you can remove the bottom portion of that and attach it to the tailgate kind of as a load stop. So you really can get a lot of cargo space in this thing. And then we get into, again, those wide opening doors and the interior, which looks very futuristic and modern. I think very RoboCop looking. Uh, a lot of LED lighting in here, a lot of sustainable materials with their nano stone and apple leather, I believe, or what all that is called. Very interesting look. A square-ish steering wheel a la Chevy Corvette um, that Ram says it's collapsible, a dual element center screen. I don't see a gauge cluster, so I think you are going to have to do a lot of Tesla looking over to the side on this. There is a head-up display, but a very futuristic looking cabin, very functional. That center console is removable and multi-positional, so you can make a workspace out of it. There is a lot going on with the cabin here. And then the lighting in here is very futuristic looking and pretty awesome. And then you get a full glass roof that is electrochromatic and you can adjust the brightness of it, um, the opaqueness of it. So there is a lot going on uh, in the interior of this and very flexible, very functional. <laughs> It is very futuristic. It is definitely going the opposite direction of what Ford did with the F-150. Unfortunately, when it comes to the electric vehicle side of things, not much was shared with uh, us about horsepower, torque, range, none of that. We do know it will be on an 800 volt architecture uh, system, so it will charge very quickly, up to 350 kilowatt uh, charging rates. So that is very nice because when you move a brick down the road, you need a giant battery and it takes a while on normal plugs to charge a big battery like that. I know, again, going back to us having the F-150 Lightning here at home, charging it on 240, it took a while to charge. Uh, I do believe that'll still be a problem here at home with this Ram Revolution EV. But, uh, out on road trips, I think this one will be quite spectacular when it comes to charging it up. They claim uh, very, very quick charging times and looking forward to seeing some more details again on power, on range, on capacity. We don't even know the capacity of this battery. And then 
again, tying all the futuristic stuff, there's a lot of tech in this. Uh, augmented reality head-up display, intelligent storage app, adjustable uh, lower display, which I mentioned earlier, smart home control, so your truck can communicate with your home, advanced cameras, uh, an exterior projector that helps uh, communicate information to you, the user, when not in the truck, and then some autonomous capabilities where the truck will actually follow you in certain circumstances. So there's really a lot going on with this vehicle. And I'm just anxious to see more of it. Again, I have it on good authority. We will see this at Chicago. And I really hope to pick Mike Koval, the CEO of Ram Trucks. I want to pick his brain a little bit more on this vehicle for you, our viewers, and really just get into more of this. But again, if you want to see and go through the pictures yourself and go through the entire press release from Ram, because there's a lot of information, just nothing on power and towing and payload and all that, head on over to gtgaragetalk.com. So there you have it, gearheads. I really hope to see this one for myself very soon. We do have plans to be at the Chicago Auto Show. I have it on good authority. It should be at that show. We will see what comes of that between now and the middle of February, but definitely stay tuned here to the channel for more news about not only this Ram Revolution, but getting some wheel time in some of these electric vehicles. I mentioned we've already spent time in the Ford F-150 Lightning, but I'm really trying to get some seat time in that new Hummer EV, as well as some time in the Chevy version and the GMC Sierra version. If you like what you saw here and want to see more content like this, breaking news here from the studio, leave me some comments on your thoughts of this Ram Revolution BEV concept from uh, its very unique styling to some of the interesting tech that Ram has put into it. Definitely leave me some comments on what you think and if you want to see more content like this or if you just want me to stick to new car reviews. And then as for getting more content from us, you can find us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, all at GT Garage Talk. And then, you know, hit all the buttons. Make sure you're subscribing and following on whatever platform uh, you find it most appropriate for you. Ring the bell, get notified every time we post new content because uh, for the month of January, we are posting something new every single day. So we've got a lot coming for you this month and in the future for 2023. But until next time, gearheads, live from the studio. Until next time, bye.